Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and as I continue playing around with the um, two desktop receivers you can see the differences in um, what is the standard filters. So those two radios have two filters and they are filters that you can add or modify um, that you can purchase uh, to add more in cases, uh, especially Kenwood R5000 had several filters available for purchase. The one that is now in it is actually the AM filter that they sold separately, which was much better than the original AM filter that was way too wide. And an example of how wide filters can be, here's the Mali, um, a radio TV Mali signal and next to it we have Cuba, we have uh, from Cuba China Radio International here on 5990 and there's Cuba on 6000 so when you go on 5995 you hear this really strong Aterodyne and this is the default AM filter obviously a little wide on the ICOM you actually have to press to use the SSB filter. It works, but it muffles the sound a lot because the SSB filter is much narrower. But shows you that the stock filter is really not up to par with the filter that the R5000 have. This is the, this is the AM filter of the Kenwood. If I would actually enable the SSB filter, this is what it would sound like. So the EAM filter on the Kenwood R5000 is definitely better. Huge difference. So Now you might ask yourself, okay, how does a portable receiver like the Texan H501X fair compared to this. We're going to plug it in. I'm going to plug it in and we're going to tune. So here goes. We're going to actually plug in the uh, H501X. And we're going to check that out. Now the H501X has several filters thanks to the DSP filter, the DSP chip, sorry, that actually makes the radio run on one specific. So here we're going to put the filters at what would be the standard filter for the AM bandwidth. So here's the Kenwood R5000. Here's the ICOM. Here's the Texan H501X. Let's put it to be fair at uh, Six, five. Five would be the standard. So that's at five kilohertz. Slight heterodyne, definitely not as bad as what the ICOM has. And not totally like the Kenwood R5000. But considering that these are thousand dollar radios and that this is a two hundred and some three hundred dollar radio, you gotta give it its capabilities and its possibilities. And the fact that you can actually make the bandwidth smaller. There you go. Might be muffled, but it removes the heterodyne.
So, kind of interesting to test out these three radios and kind of do, and tonight we're going to do a few compares like that. We're going to tune some single sideband, we're going to do some different tuning around with the Texan, with the high-end desktops, and uh, that's where you'll probably see what I mean by, you know what, today's portables, even that are a, hundred, a few hundred dollars, they've reached a level that, um, you know, I can't apart from the fact that they're beautiful and they're really nice desktop receivers you just wonder you know well you don't what what they perform compared to today's radio is really marginal what you'll get so uh hope you enjoy the videos